Hey, it's Robert. Join me today for a walking tour of Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri. Silver Dollar City was founded in 1960 by the Hershen family from Chicago, who went on to get other theme parks around the country, including Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. But here in Silver Dollar City, it's always 1884. As you can tell from this really nifty calendar and clock that we encounter first thing when we walk into the park. Now, Silver Dollar City's location wasn't picked by some demographic survey like Disneyland or a park like that. No, it's here because it sits atop Marvel Cave, more than 30 mile long cave right here in the Ozarks. The Hershen family got the lease to the cave and then they decided that they needed to improve the attraction, so they built Silver Dollar City on top of it. And they set it back in the late 19th century, pivotal period in the history of the Ozarks. As they say, you've got a great past ahead of you. Looking forward to our day here at Silver Dollar City. Okay, past security and ticketing now, we get our first sign telling us about Marvel Cave, which is really the reason why Silver Dollar City is here, and in fact, the reason why Branson is such a popular tourist attraction today. They've got a nice little uh, cafe and bakery there for you to fuel up as you begin your adventures here at Silver Dollar City. But walking up the hill here, and uh, by the way, there's gonna be a lot of hills in this theme park, so get ready for that. You see our sign here uh, denoting that Marvel Cave is actually a registered national landmark. You can find it on the National Park Service website. You'll learn a little bit about Marvel Cave right here. Again, at any point in the video, if you see a sign that you want to read more, just please pause and go ahead and read that detail. But we're going to keep heading up the hill here for our tour as we begin our uh, walk through the park now, starting into the hospitality house. Some really nice detail here in the hospitality house, this nice mural that you've got up there. Talking about Marvel Cave Park, which is what Silver Dollar City started out to be. And this is where you'll go off here to the right if you want to get one of those hour long Marvel Cave tours during your visit to the park here. Now, I know we joke that a lot of theme park attractions you exit through the gift shop, you actually enter through the gift shop here at Silver Dollar City. A little brisk this morning for our visit here in the spring, but uh, right back here through the sunlight, we're going to be walking up into Main Street, Silver Dollar City. Cute little photo op here to the right if you want to pose in that giant chair. But we're gonna walk right on past that and take a look at some of the historic buildings that have been relocated here to Silver Dollar City's Main Street. Uh, some log cabins and other, other buildings from around the Ozarks that are collected here now uh, for your enjoyment and uh, kind of at least kind of setting the tone for this old 19th century themed theme park. Turning back around here first thing in the morning on Main Street, you'll notice a lot of people reading newspapers. That's because Silver Dollar City still publishes its own newspaper. It's got all of the events happening in the park that week, daily show schedules, news about what's new in the park and what's happening around Branson. Want your own copy? Just look for the friendly news people that you'll find here in the middle of Main Street and they'll set you up. Good morning. There's a big queue of people uh, lined up to get uh, the uh, special pass holder refillable mugs over there. So we'll take a little detour over to the entrance of the Mine Restaurant. This is open up early in the morning if you want to get set with some breakfast before tackling the park. We're on our way over to Midtown now. But first, uh, let's take a look at this sign that caught my eye over to the right. Like I said, lots of fun detail, uh, honey little sayings and stuff all around the park here. So. Uh, be sure to stop and take a look at the detail on your way around. But let's head down the hill here into Midtown and uh, check out some of what's available down the hill here. Uh, of course, over here to the left, I just got to look at another photo op. It's the Silver Dollar City Jail. So whoever you don't like in the family, uh, just put them back there and get your photo op there. Uh, that's also the end of the suspension bridge. We'll see that a little bit later on our tour here. 
and just all the fun little detail and decoration that you really will find throughout Silver Dollar City. Up the steps here, we come to one of the main attractions here in Midtown. That is Grandfather's Mansion. It's one of an old style fun house, you know, with the tilted floors and everything, a lot of illusions in there. Uh, but we've got some other places to get to this morning, so we'll just uh, conclude our tour of Midtown and Main Street here by taking a look at a couple more of the shops that you will find on Main Street. And then kind of over here to the left, it's the main flagpole here in Silver Dollar City. You got Old Glory up there. They start every day with the singing of the national anthem and a, a Pledge of Allegiance. Also, I mentioned a lot of relocated historic buildings here. One of them is a church, and this isn't just for show. You'll find they do church services here on a regular basis at Silver Dollar City. But let's leave Main Street now and uh, head down the hill once again into Homestead Ridge on our way down to Hugo's Hill Street and our first ride of the day. Be sure to watch your step on the hills. You'll notice one of the few smoking areas that are still inside Silver Dollar City can't smoke anywhere else in the park, but you can in those designated areas. Coming around the corner here, you can see the drop for the big log flume ride here at Silver Dollar City, American Plunge. Now that one's not so popular on this uh, chilly spring morning, uh, but we're headed to the other attraction in uh, this part of the park. That's Wildfire. It's a Bollinger and Mabillard coaster. It's got some fun elements on it, so let's check it out with the on-ride POV. After wildfire, let's take a look around the rest of Hugo's Hill Street. You can really see there the angle of some of the uh, streets here around Silver Dollar City, like I said. Uh, yeah, you can run downhill at the beginning of the day, but remember, you're going to have to come back uphill at the end, so save some energy. And of course, there's plenty of places to fuel up and eat and get some of that energy on your day here at the park.
The second coaster we were headed to is Powder Keg. This is a Premier Rides coaster. Unfortunately, it is closed for maintenance for the day, so we're not able to ride it. But uh, so uh, this is where you'd find it, though. But here in Hugo's Hill Street also was the former home of Fire in the Hole. We're going to see the new Fire in the Hole on the other side of the park later today. In fact, let's head over in that direction right now. past the stagecoach over there and underneath the steam train tracks we're going to be heading into Rivertown another section here in Silver Dollar City This here is River Blast, a splash battle type attraction. Again, not so popular first thing in the morning on a spring day, but a uh, really fun attraction themed to uh, Tom and Huck, well known around Missouri. But we're gonna then turn around and head back over towards another section of the park, Wilson's Farm, which is where we're gonna find one of the biggest roller coasters in Silver Dollar City. Over to the right, if you look carefully, you can see the uh, Scream and Swing, which is just wrapping up one of its rides over there. That is the Giant Barn Swing, which is the other main attraction on Wilson's Farm here in Silver Dollar City. Door right here, that rapids ride, that is part of Mystic River Falls, which we will see a little bit later here on our tour when we get back into Rivertown. But for now, it's time to enter Wilson's Farm and uh, check out some of the fun detail that Silver Dollar City has provided for us in this land. You can get a good view of the Scream and Swing right there behind its very impressive red barn facade. There are a lot of thrill rides here in Silver Dollar City, but I think they've done a great job of decorating even the most uh, basic thrill rides here. And this fun little detail as well. Just take a look at the sign for the cacophony tree, decorated with all sorts of things that uh, can bang around in the wind and make a lot of noise. But there in the distance at the end of the farm where everyone is headed to is the Rocky Mountain Constructions Outlaw Run. Let's go take a look at this on-ride POV as well.
after that wild ride in the wilderness, let's head on back now towards Rivertown again. And we're about halfway around now, uh, Silver Dollar City. We've got about halfway through the park to go. Just enjoy more of our walking tour here. We've got another good view of that uh, Scream and Swing. And you know, if you take a look down at the pavement here, you see a lot of detail in there too. You know, you see the horse, uh, the horseshoes, the imprints, just a lot of detail everywhere you look in the park. This is not an amusement park. This is a theme park. We really talk about that word theme. You see it throughout the facility here at Silver Dollar City. Coming around the corner here, another performance facility here, uh, along with another restaurant. See those throughout the park here. They have not skimped on entertainment. Yeah, it's a little early in the day for all the shows to be happening, but there's entertainment throughout the park here and plenty of food that you can enjoy while you're watching it. However, it's time for us to see the biggest, most important, most popular attraction at Silver Dollar City. That's right, it's cinnamon bread. This is what you really come to the park for. You know, take a look here in the window at the ladies who are baking that wonderful cinnamon bread for us that uh, we hope we'll have an opportunity to enjoy later in the day. Thank you, ladies. We appreciate your work. Here it is, I mentioned it before this, we've got to the entrance of Mystic River Falls. This is the big rapids ride here at Silver Dollar City, except it's got this really fun vertical lift that sets you up for the big splashdown finale. Contrary to memes and online rumors, there are actually no sharks in the water here, but there'll be plenty of water in the boat after you splash down that, uh, that fall there. Let's take a look at some highlights of the ride, including that lift and fall.
water. So remain seated and hold on to the center bit. Heading up the hill as we exit Rivertown, we are on our way to one of the newer lands in the park, the Fire District. And you can see all those people who are heading in because this is the home to the new Fire in the Hole. The fire district has some neat little children's flat rides over here. See a nice little aerial carousel there uh, themed to balloons. Uh, there's a little drop tower ride that you will find behind the main facade. And uh, like I said, some nice and a little play area that's actually inside the uh, firehouse there as well. But uh, our target today lies around the corner. And there you see it off to the side there, the, the massive show building that they have created here for the very first indoor Rocky Mountain roller coaster. This is the reimagining of Fire in the Hole. Let's check it out. Patches, I'm gonna tan your hide. Chicken, why those half the chicken? Wally, drop that dynamite or I'll have to shoot. Go ahead, Marshal. You couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. Uh-oh, I think I'm stuck. Oh, I can't reach. <laughs> Ooh, bridge ain't going to hold. Bye-bye. and Patches, we followed your plot and now we're using your dynamite to blow up the water tower and put out the fire. 
Don't throw that switch! The train's coming that way! Tower's gonna blow! Fire! As we head back down the hill, you can see just how big that show building is. And they've done such a great job of decorating it. Uh, all part of the wonderful theming here at Silver Dollar City and in the Fire District. A little fan service for you firing the whole fans. Uh, that's Flanders dry goods. Yes, you can buy red Flanders pants in there. Yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> Silver Dollar City's got a big Echo Hollow amphitheater down the hill there where they can have a lot of name act shows there. But we are headed on our way to uh, one more land in the park, Grand Exposition. I'm from the West Coast, and Disneyland is one of my home parks, so I recognize what's coming up here, that uh, Kugel Ball Fountain. We've got one in uh, Tomorrowland at Disneyland. Uh, they don't actually float. They're aquaplaning, but uh, wonderful physics behind those uh, fountains. 
And here we enter the Grand Exposition of 1882. It's another collection of uh, mostly flat rides, but the, the decoration here is just, this is what sets Silver Dollar City apart from so many other parks, regional parks around the country. Just wonderful decorations here. Kind of that, that late Victorian era that you see, uh, late 19th century, just a lot of parks do well with their wave swingers, but uh, you see that attention to detail throughout the area here at Silver Dollar City. And here's the Electro Spin, a uh, disco spinning ride. Let's check it out. Other attractions in Grand Exposition include this swinging ship ride. Coming around the corner here, we're going to see a racing regatta. This is kind of a Himalaya style ride. And then for the little kids, Elephant March. And I think you know where you've seen this type of ride before too. <laughs> Speaking of theme park classics, yep, there it is. Another spinning teacups ride, but again, one of the more impressively decorated ones that you will see. <laughs> then finally in the land here, we've got the Grand Exposition Coaster. Nice little Zemperla kitty coaster there for kids wanting their first coaster experience. And they're just about to take off there, so let's... Uh, take a moment and watch this one run around the track. Hey there, finally there is that uh, Wave Swinger, the magnificent wave carousel in action.
Passing the Echo Hollow Amphitheater, which has its concert lineup posted there, if you want to check it out. We are leaving the Grand Exposition and entering the final land for us in our tour of Silver Dollar City. It's a valley road. Big attraction here in Valley Road is the Mock Ride Spinning Coaster Time Traveler. Let's check out the on ride on this. Ready for launch. Hold go. on. Traveler, going to head down one of these side streets here in uh, Valley Road. And this is kind of the home of a lot of crafting in this area. The skillets, famous skillets are over there. They'll be uh, firing those up a little bit later in the day. But you want to head kind of back down this side street here because behind these buildings, that is where you will find the entry to the Frisco Silver Dollar Line steam trains. It's a nice 20 minute steam train tour around the park and some of the surrounding Ozark wilderness. Give you a little bit different view than you get from our walking tour that we're taking here at Silver Dollar City. And oh yeah, some stocks over there. If the jail earlier wasn't enough, here's another opportunity for a little photo op. I mentioned that suspension bridge earlier in our tour. Well, here's the uh, entrance to it right over here. See, it goes over that little holler right there. But that is not the bridge that we are going to be taking to head back up to uh, Main Street here in Silver Dollar City. Instead, we're going to be taking this covered truss bridge. Now, of course, you got to pause and read some of the signs here that will tell you exactly why this is called the covered truss bridge. Oh, <laughs> 
You'll see lots of folks stopping to check out the blacksmiths who are hard at work here as Valley Road gives way back to Main Street here at Silver Dollar City. Lots of craftspeople in action here throughout the park and they are more than happy to stop for a moment and talk with you about what they do. So as we head back up the hill to Main Street where we started, that'll do it. We made it. We made it all the way around Silver Dollar City. Maybe you can stop and check out some of the entertainment still going on in the gazebo there. But this has been our walking tour of Silver Dollar City. For more information about the park, just check it out here on ThemeParkInsider.com. I'm Robert Niles, and thanks for taking this tour with me today. <laughs>